So the 15 inch MacBook Air has just officially came out. So I'm going to show you a quick beginner's guide in a way on exactly how to use this MacBook. Now luckily for you, it's not anything crazy. It's a pretty basic MacBook to use. And if you've used any other PC, it should be relatively the same exact process. Now within the outside, first a few things to keep in mind, this MacBook is pretty large. You don't have to have a case on it if you don't want to, but I would probably recommend keeping it in a carrying case if you're carrying it from one place to another. Again, keep it in good condition. I've already like kind of got some dust on it and marks on it. I barely even use this thing. So keep that in mind. Now at the top of our MacBook, we'll start off with the outside. We are getting our Apple logo here. There's no features here with it or anything. It's just a standard Apple logo. It doesn't even glow. On the bottom of this thing, so on the sides, that's where things get a little bit more complicated. So if we take a look at the first side of our MacBook Air, we basically have a headphone jack. So within this headphone jack, we basically have the capability of plugging in a headphone. And that is basically it that we're getting on this side. I know it's kind of a little bit hard to see, but within this side, just, just the headphone jack, there's nothing crazy. On the left side of the specific MacBook, we are basically getting our MagSafe charger. So we're getting a MagSafe charger right here, and we're getting two USB-C ports. Okay, maybe that's a little bit easier to see. The advantage of getting two USB-C ports and the MagSafe port is that you can now actually charge your MacBook separately from these specific charging ports. So the MagSafe charger is what comes into the box normally. So you should be able to go ahead and basically just plug in your specific MagSafe charger right here and also use these two USB-C ports as whatever way you want to. So these USB-C ports are Thunderbolt. You can go and plug in monitors. You can plug in a you know, Thunderbolt supported device, SD card readers, all these other things. You have that type of capability within here. Uh, the MagSafe charger is strictly just for charging. Now with the front portion, it's just a lid opening case. So you can just go and pry this open if you want to. And at the bottom, we basically have our indents. So these things allow us to basically you know, set this thing up on a table. You have a little bit of information sometimes on these MacBooks, like right at the bottom right here. But beyond that, there's nothing really else going on for these. You have screws, you have you know, feet, everything. So overall, very, very good looking MacBook. And it definitely looks pretty good in my opinion. Now, flipping this thing open, if you want to, you can go ahead and raise it by holding down the lid right here and basically flipping it open. So I'll go and demonstrate it. As you can see, you can go and open it up just like this. And at the bottom of this specific MacBook, there's a few things to keep in mind. One, we're getting our keyboard. So our keyboard is right here. We basically have the ability of setting it up as we normally would. We have Touch ID, which is the fingerprint sensor right here. We have our trackpad right here too. So you can use the trackpad as you normally would. It supports multi-gestures. You can go and use it whatever way you want to. It's a normal trackpad. You have this in there right here, which is about you know lifting it and closing it. There are no speakers on the side of this specific MacBook. They're just empty slots. The speakers are built in behind the specific thing right here. And that is it for here. Now making our way over to our display, we basically do get a pretty decent display on the specific MacBook Air, which honestly looks pretty, pretty good. It's a 15 inch display. We are getting overall a pretty good panel. It's a, it's a notch display. So you're getting a notch up here, which is really nice. You're getting pretty decent slim bezels around it. And I've already went through the initial setup. I went through the initial setup of going through this MacBook. So if this panel looks different, it's because I've already been through the initial setup. You probably need to set it up for the first time. So definitely keep that in mind in the back of your head. Now booting this thing open for the first time, you can see that we come into a pretty familiar panel. Now this is going to be universal for any Mac that you use. So the first time that you boot up your MacBook Air, after you're going through the initial setup, this is the display that you're going to you know, basically be looking like. So I'm going to walk through you through the basics of this specific, you know, Mac OS, basically this Mac OS version we're on. And beyond that, that, that's pretty much it specifically for this 15 inch MacBook Air. Now at the very top, we have our taskbar. So this is pretty basic stuff. It basically gives us information within the application we're using. Consider it like a settings, a custom settings for each application we use. So within the Apple logo right here, we have a lot of different options. We have about this Mac, we can get into system settings right here. You can jump inside of the app store. You can force quit applications and you can quickly sleep, restart or shut down your computer right from here. And you can even lock your screen. So this will just basically lock your screen and you can wiggle your mouse to basically turn it back on. And you can even log out of the specific, you know, Mac OS profile that you're on. If you're within a specific application, these specific ones will change. The Apple logo will always stay there, but these specific panels will change depending on the application that you're in. Now, if you want to open up an application, you can always open them up from here. So if we open up Finder, you can see we'll get into this and it'll tell us what application we're in. If we open up Safari, you'll see this name will change and these specific things up here will change as well. So just keep that in the back of your head. This is a this is a customized thing. It's going to be a you know per application basis. These specific things will change, but usually you will have like a files thing, 
a view thing, maybe a window thing or a help thing. But those are pretty much, you know, whatever application you're in, you'll see that. Now the notch itself has just a camera, nothing else crazy going on with it. Pretty basic for the most part and nothing insane that we haven't seen already. Behind or to the right side of this specific, you know, of the Mac OS profile, you can see we have a couple of things. One, you do have that battery icon. So you can actually go ahead and just, you know, enable, you know, you can just see your battery if you want to. These are customizable too. You can just change these whichever way you want to. You have the Wi-Fi toggle on the search bar, but you also have these two things. These are pretty much consistent. They're pretty much always going to be there. These things can change. You have your date and time. So if you're wanting to change your date and time settings, you have the capability here. But under this control center thing, you do have the capability of basically customizing your settings even more. So you can go ahead and, you know, use your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and AirDrop. You can turn on your display mode and say sound and so many other things here. You can change your brightness here, which is pretty important. You can also grab a toggle from here and bring it and paste it up right here too if you want to. So that's another thing that you have the capability of doing too, which is honestly very, very cool. Now this middle panel here is pretty much always going to stay consistent. You can you know, make a window, you can actually just double click on the Mac trackpad like this, and you can you know, get, make a new folder, you can change wallpaper, you can use stacks, which I've never really used. But it's a pretty cool thing that you have. Now at the very bottom, we kind of opened some applications up before, but you can also go ahead and see all the applications you have by clicking a few buttons. You can either go ahead and basically go like this on the trackpad, which is what I do on an everyday basis. So go like literally like this on the trackpad and you will see that all of your applications will be pulled up here. So we don't have too many because we haven't installed any apps really, but you can always click the search bar up here to search for an application if you're looking for one. And the search button here brings up Spotlight Search. So if there's a specific application you're looking for, or if there's something you're looking for in the meantime, you'll basically be able to search for it, not only for applications, but also for files, for destinations, for really anything that you want. You have that type of capability here, which is honestly very cool. Now, again, at the bottom, you do have the capability of opening up all these other apps. So I would implore you to actually go ahead and open up these other applications. Just kind of open them up see the vibe that you're getting. If you like a certain thing or if you want to open up notes or whatever, you have the type of capability here and just kind of keep going through and opening up the apps that you want. The app store right here is the application where you can download your applications from. So just go ahead and go through and find the specific application that you want to download by clicking into here, click on search, and you should be able to go ahead and basically find a specific application that you want. And that's another cool thing that you have the capability of doing. Now, finally, the big thing here is basically within system settings. So if you click on the Apple logo in the top left corner, and if you go ahead and click on system settings, which is right here, a big thing to keep in mind is to basically make sure you understand the system, the, make sure you understand the settings within your system. So if you go right here, what you, what I probably recommend doing is going through and clicking on general and clicking on software update and just seeing if there's an update available for your Mac. A lot of the times there might be, there might already be an update available for your Mac. And all you're going to have to do here is basically update your Mac. So if there's an update now button, just go and click update now, update your Mac. And that is another big, massive thing that I'd recommend doing because that is also probably one of the more important things that you know you should probably end up doing at the end of the day. So those are pretty much the main things of basically how to use your 15 inch newly made uh, MacBook Air. Again, a few things to keep in mind, make sure you keep it in good condition. These things will probably end up selling fairly well for the most part, but in case they don't, or in case they do, you'll be able to sell this thing very rapidly if you want to sell resell in the future. So make sure you keep it in good condition. You can wipe the display down, wipe the keyboard down as well. You can customize this thing whichever way you want to. You can add and remove applications from the dock. You can change up the taskbar a little bit. You can do all sorts of things. Whatever you want to do on this Mac, you should be able to be able to do it for the most part. And that is basically a quick introduction to the 15-inch MacBook Air. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.